Well, this is the history of a subject we will run in this architectural school since 1993. And in some way, this is uh, pretty connected with the ideas of Yusuf Nungayola. Uh, and in some way, it's also pretty connected with the very hard uh, of what formal methods it is. The, the, number, the name of the subject is uh, architectonic analysis. Uh, so uh, our goal is to train students to analyze architecture. Uh, recently, and me, more recently than me, are going to explain what we do there, showing a case study. Okay, come, come, come on. Well, this is going to be the structure of the lecture. Uh, uh, the, in, in some way, this is the, 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 the track we follow when, when, when we are teaching to, to, to our students. At the very beginning, we start explaining what is research. Uh, after that, we explain several methodologies for research. Uh, then we introduce into what is analyzing. Uh, and, um, after we particularize in what is architectonic analysis. Uh, coming to an end, oh, sorry, coming to an end, we introduce students with uh, specific tools for the architectonic analysis. Mainly, we use uh, graphic tools as we are professionals uh, of the space with, ma with, uh, a, with a high developed skills to manage the space. Uh, at the end, we will show you a case study with the main outcomes coming from a real example. Okay, come on. Well, what is the research? No, I think it's not uh, really interesting to stop here. Well, what we explain the students this kind of things. No, no. Uh, uh, this subject is located in second year, so most of the students never uh, have heard what the, uh, what our research is. Even most of the students didn't know uh, about what is research in terms of architecture. So we have to explain what what is a procedure of, for research. Okay. Uh, we explain the kinds of of research: applied, analytical, field research, basic research, with some examples. And um, we stop a uh, uh, certain time in, in explaining what is an analytical research. Uh, okay. I, I, I don't need to to stop here uh, a lot really in this slide. Well, we continue explaining what is a logical uh, methodology among uh, an empirical methodology. Okay, come on. Uh, more detail. Well, this is a, a more or less material coming from, from our, one of our lessons. The, the point is uh, to address the students to, to understand what is analysis. Okay. One thing in order to better uh, understand the relation with formal methods is that uh, normally students look for, at least in first, second year, the direct process to, to meet the, the task. Uh, the subject uh, looks forward to train how to think, how to analyze, how to create or generate proper analysis. Uh, it's like we are uh, teaching to know how to program algorithms to analyze architecture and urbanism, but we do not enter in how to program, okay? Then these are, this, uh, this is relationship with logical methodologies, which are conjectured, discovered principles are applied to particular cases after establishing a relationship. This is one of the levels of design by analogy. Uh, induction, departing from the knowledge of particular cases, these are presented as general awareness. For example, normally students have to do the, all, all the dimensions of analysis of two different buildings, and, and they should be discovering not the same analysis they did are appropriate for the two cases. Okay. And comparison, well, it's uh, like a mixture of the other two. This could be empirical methodologies based on evidence. They are not in, uh, in this stage. 
So, well, we we are focused on these ones. Yeah, at the, at the same time, they, uh, uh, in projects, subjects, the same studio subjects, subjects, and they are uh, being trained to, to, to design. So the, the, this, is, this subject is located in the, in the graphical uh, department, so they, uh, in some way, they don't expect the, the design, the, the graphic professor, the graphic area professor to teach this kind of thing. At the very beginning, there is a, a bit of confusion. After that, at the end, they finally understand that we are teaching them, uh, giving them some necessary tools to, to some way to decide. This is a sort of methodology of, of the project. Okay. We, we want to say that the project goes from the, from the, the the empty of the white sheet to the to the building, and we in analysis come from the building to the idea. That is the the, the case studies we we use. Coming studying real buildings to identify the the generative ideas with a method methodology we are going to show here. Well, the. Uh, we are entering on, on, on what is to analyze. This is uh, really difficult to, to explain to second year students, but the, the, the typical definition is analysis to separate something into its constituent elements. The point is to identify, to make it clear for these uh, young students to, to understand what, what, which are the, the constituent uh, elements of a building. So, Well, the, 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 as you can read there, the objectives are the deep, the final knowledge of the architectonic uh, work, and uh, all the processes related with it. And we either util use logical me methodologies, any of them, and you, we use graphical, uh, graphical thinking that was related by Joanna. Okay. Uh, at this, uh, at this, same, uh, at this uh, point, we, I, we have to say we, we uh, ask the students to uh, research which uh, graphical skills are the best for each dimension of the analysis they are dealing with. Okay. Well, uh, at the very beginning, uh, intro introducing students right now to the to the final task, we. we, we explain them that architecture goals are to, to design spaces, to give support to human activity, to construct buildings, uh, in some way to organize, organize process in, processes in a space. At the end is to make people's live, life uh, easier. No? So once they uh, understand the, all, all these uh, goals, because at the very beginning they, they think that the, the, the goal of the architects is just to build buildings. We say, no, 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 no. Hey, guys, there are some uh, other goals, hidden goals, which are mm, part of the, the, this final goal. Uh, once we, we have made students understand this, the, 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 the gate to the uh, architectonic analysis is nearly open. Okay, this is Mutanyol. What you wrote uh, 40 years ago, perhaps. We, we didn't change anything at the moment. Okay, uh, so the, to work in a proper condition, analysis should be structured in dimensions according to, to this general framework we said before, unveiling architecture in, in general. A complete analysis should in include, as, as you say, uh, uh, and we uh, have verified dim dimensions like functional, spatial, visual, contextual, and technological, and also semantic. I, w I have to say that semantic dimension is uh, not uh, under our umbrella. It's, it's taught in theory, uh, architectonic, architectural theory subject. Okay, it, that's it, that very first five dimensions are enough for us. 
uh, as I say, we belong to the graphic area of the architectural uh, school. Do you want to say something about this? Uh, well, uh, in order to understand that these areas or dimensions could be um, perceived from different points of view or from different approaches, for example, the spatial, it's not the same point of view as the space index approach, okay? It's a more perceptive one, it's uh, more sensual and uh, it has to be uh, or is related also to um, um, promenade architectural with experience uh, and this is uh, well each of these dimensions maybe it's divided in ten dimensions sub dimensions we try to, to explain that uh, there is a culture behind as Lugano say but we, we try to be as, as much logical as possible to say hey guys there, there is a culture behind uh, take care about this, but we are uh, technicians. Well, the, the, the classical procedure we follow is that, that the very first point should be defined what to look for. It all depends on the case study. It's all over the table. Maybe, well, we, we, we always use uh, contemporary architecture. A meaningful architecture, of course, but, but not all the buildings are the same. For example, this uh, bus station or a private house are not the, the same, have not the same problems. Well, the very, very first point should be defined what to look for. Once you have identified the, 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 that point, is to choose an, an analytical method uh, under the, the definition that we, we have explained before. And uh, after run the analysis, and that's it. That's the end, more or less. Well, that is the beginning of the problem, really. Okay. So, well, well. Uh, so, the, 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 to 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 address the analysis, we, we recommend the students to follow these stages. Start uh, the very first is to establish a critical valorization of the main aspects of the of the of the building uh, under individual valorous interpretation okay. uh, the second point is to classify this element and uh, the third is to organize all of them we ask the students to show us what which hypothesis they they are following to express their their demonstrations and of course we ask them for uh, clear conclusions not, not opinions, conclusions. Graf graphical conclusions. Graphical conclusions. <clears throat> well, which tools do we use? Mainly drawings, sketches, diagrams, models, 3D models, of course, videos, animations, all that stuff. All this, that stuff. And usually, uh, most of the students re require a mixed uh, stuff. Yeah. Well, let's see a, a case study. Um, some years ago, when there was a, a war in some, somewhere near, near, near Coruña, it was in Lebanon or Syria, Syria sorry, there was a um, refugees crisis, as, as, as nowadays, it, it always happens. Uh, at this moment, we proposed our students to uh, uh, shelter refugees in a military barrack. Yes, it's a, not, not a joke. It's plenty of uh, hidden meanings. To, we chose uh, this barrack. It's a mass, uh, large building within the city. Um, we proposed our students to study how to shelter uh, 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 refugees there. Well, there was a commission zero that was to identify within the city and the urban area which uh, buildings could be the best for this purpose. So most of the students decided that this could be the ideal because of the dimension, but because of the position within the city and uh, several uh, other dim dimensions. We wanted the refugees, of course, not only to be sheltered, but to be integrated in the, in the, in the body of the city, okay? 
Well, we show here some of the diagrams produced. Well, the, the, the task was to establish, uh, in some way, establish the, 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 the rules or the, how to say, mm, yes, the, the, the dimensions that could be needed to understand how to deal with a, such a problem like this. Okay. Regarding the dimensions that we saw before in the other slides. Functional, spatial, technological, unless they mean the semantic. Semantic analysis. Well, when we, we visit the building, we say to the, to the user, uh, nowadays users of the buildings, where, oh, we are so, so interested in history or what, what, something like that. Uh, the other this is a building. <laughs> Yesterday we were talking about how Bing could be useful for design. This could be the same, but without Bing. It's about thinking variables for design. How, uh, not just the number of people and the function, if not which kind of type of people and which are their needs. Uh, if uh, if the, this training is possible, then when they have to do this in other software, they will be able to understand it better. Actually, it would be the best to try to do all at the same time. Uh, this is graphical thinking or design thinking. No, uh, not a single uh, stroke for any design was, uh, was drawn. We, we, we stopped here, just the previous idea before um, starting to draw. Yeah. Well, this is a, a, the real drawing of the, of the building. We, we use the, the real um, drawings of the building to verify uh, this kind of things. And there are some, some kind of graphs that are more, uh, that maybe we are more used to, to see or they are, could be more automated, but other ones are. Uh, Grown from zero. Yeah. Uh, I have to say that, that this this is a, a, a this was this experience was run in a group that is taught in English. It's an international group with up to 30, 25 students at that moment coming from all over the, the world, even for people coming from countries where the, the, the reception of migrants, of refugees, is a, a real a huge problem. Oh, well, this is the, 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 the floor plan of the building. This is, was used as the lower type of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the year. The, a urban study. Well, we wanted, we want uh, as, as I said before, we chose a position uh, within the city, a central position, because we, we, we put on the table that one of the things that should be solved is not only shelter, but integration of the, of the new Coruñan uh, people uh, in, into our community. So it was really important to, to, to try to understand how this new population could uh, interact with the, with the pre-existing city. Well, much more classical drones. Technological analysis was truly connection because the building is a historical building with uh, with uh, large, uh, how to say, what is the camera? Load bank, long walls. Okay. So, yeah, mm, not, we, we, we wouldn't propose a, 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 no special changes or a large scale changes. So, as you see, many of these analyses could uh, reach to be automated, but it's not the idea in this course because we are trying to train thinking. I believe this is well. This is a, the 
with the best uh, quote we, we could find for to define our work. What we do. Thank you very much. One, two, three.